Hello there, uh, welcome to uh, another video. Uh, this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide to solving the three-digit addition problem um, in the uh, 2016 arithmetic sample question video. So the question that we've got, we've got here is uh, adding together two three-digit numbers. Now because it's only worth one mark, you can use any arithmetic method that you'd like to. So, uh, my suggestion would be, first thing we're going to do is we're going to be adding up the hundreds, the tens and the units of each of these numbers. So what can be helpful, um, think about the numbers, is if you actually label the hundreds, the tens and the units, you've got your hundreds, the tens and your units. So we know straight away we're going to be adding these up. Now there's a couple of ways you could do this. You could either draw yourself a number line and begin on a larger number and then count on uh, in amounts uh, in hundreds, tens and units. Or, uh, one other way you could do it is you could split up your numbers into their separate hundreds, tens and units, so partition them, and then add the units, the tens and the hundreds. So I'll model both ways, and then think about which method works best for you. Bear in mind it's only a one mark question, as long as you write the correct answer, that's all the examiners are looking for. So no marks are working here. So we start off with our, I would always start off with a larger number and adding the small number. So we've got 656. Now 656 is the same. We start off with our hundreds. So we've got 600. Six lots for 100 is 600. Add. We've got our tens. Five lots of 10 would be 50. And last we've got our units. So six lots of 1 is going to be worth 6. So we've uh, partitioned our three, larger three-digit number. Now we're going to partition our smaller three-digit number. So it's 555. So we'll put that just underneath. So again, um, when partitioning, start off with the leftmost column. So 5 lots of 100 would be 500. Looking at the 10s next, 5 lots of 10 would be 50. And then lastly, you've got the units. 5 lots of 1 would be 5. Up to you. Sometimes it's helpful to put a line underneath. It reminds you that we're doing a addition sum here. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to add together, starting with the units, and work our way left. And the reason for that is that when we add together any of the columns, so we've got our units here, We've got our tens here, and we've got our hundreds here. Whenever we add together one of these columns, we end up with more than ten lots of that. We want to be able to put um, the, that multiple of ten into the next column. So for example, six and five would be eleven. And uh, eleven is another way of writing one in the units and one in the tens. So we've got one extra ten out of that, so we'll put that ten above here in this column. So then we're going to add together our tens. So fifty add fifty is a hundred. Add the tens can give us 110, so we've got 10 in the tens. And remember, it was a 110, so that 100 is going to go up here into the hundreds. And lastly, we're going to add together our hundreds. So um, 600, add 500 is 1,100, add the other 100 is 1,200, which gives us 200 in the hundreds. But we've also got that thousand as well. So we'll just put the thousand over here. So we've got one thousand, add the two hundred, add the ten, add the one. And if we're going to lay out our final number, one way we could do it is we could lay out just like this. So we've got thousands, our hundreds, our tens, and our units. So in the thousands, we've got one thousand. In the hundreds, we've got two hundreds. In the tens, we've got one ten. And in the units, we've got one unit. So our final answer is going to be 1,211. So the examiners will just be looking for you to put the final answer into the box there. And that's all they're looking for. Hope you found that helpful. Um, further videos are going to come out for the other arithmetic questions. And if you did find the video useful, then do uh, like the video. Why not subscribe to the channel for more of the same? And why not share it with your friends and colleagues? Uh, hopefully this is going to be a useful tool you can use in the future. But thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.